Welcome to the Arizona Clinical Informatics Educational Series on Cerner Power Charts, lesson number 10, Blood Administration. For this lesson, we'll be again in a slide deck presentation, working with scanning and documentation within the Cerner Power Chart system on blood product administrations. We would first like to cover how to order a blood product transfusion. Some hospitals require the printing of the blood requisition slip in order to pick up the blood product. Please check with your blood bank supervisor to see if this is required. Now let's get into the instructions for the nursing blood administration documentation.
all users will utilize the blood product administration band in the INO INET to document vital signs, blood administration, reactions, and blood product volumes. Never document everything on one time column. You will consistently be adding new time columns throughout the blood documentation. When creating a dynamic group for blood products, all fields are required. The blood unit ID must scan the product in. Don't forget to scroll down to the remaining fields. There's a separate section on blood attributes and special needs that we'll discuss. And you'll also need to check the product bag for expiration date and time. If there is no time, use 2359 as the expiration time. Please remember you are scanning the top two barcodes. Do not scan the lower barcode labels. The example at the left shows you where the special attributes that need to be documented in the EHR are found. If you look at the example to the right, you see that these selections match those that are highlighted on the unit.
Here's an example of the charting for the blood. You'll see the 930, that's the pre-vital signs that we did. 945 time column is where we created our dynamic group. We've had the secondary witness and we're showing that this is our transfusion start time. So you see my transfusion start time at 945 is meeting the same time column as I'm showing here for documentation. After documenting the transfusion start time, you don't want to document any further onto this particular column. You'll go to a new column when you're at your 15 minute vital signs. There are specific requirements that the hospital requires for documenting a blood product transfusion. Number one is 15 minute vital signs documented. It has to at least be heart rate, blood pressure, respiratory rate, temperature, and it has to be 15 minutes after the start time. There should be one, two, three hour vital signs documented as per policy. Those are timed from the start time. Volume transfused documented blood product volume that you transfuse to the patient. This is found on the unit bag. Of note, volume be, to be documented may not be the full volume shown on the bag in PD and neonates as it is ordered in a milliliter per kilogram on those cases. You have to document a transfusion stop time and there also must be a post transfusion vitals that are documented again at least heart rate, blood pressure, respiratory rate, and temperature and this has to be either one minute to 15 minutes after the stop time. Shown here is an example of our documentation. We see the 930 pre-vital signs, the 945 start time with the secondary nurse witness and the identification of the blood products. And in 15 minutes after our start time, that would be 10 o'clock, we see the 15 minute vital signs that have been entered in. Here is an example of a properly completed vital sign documentation for blood transfusion. It starts at the 930 time frame with the pre-transfusions vital signs. Our start time is 945. Since our start time is 945, the 15 minute vital sign starts at 10 a.m. Our one hour vital sign is one hour from the start time, so it is 1045, two hours, 1145, and then we see at 12 noon, we have a stop time for the blood. And then there is a post vitals that can be one to 15 minutes later. In this case, it is 15 minutes from the stop time. And we see that it has been documented at 1215. We also see at the time of the stop time that we have documented our blood product intake.
Congratulations, you've reached the end of the Cerner Lesson number 10 on Blood Administration Scanning Documentation. Please stay tuned for the final of the series, Lesson number 11, The Discharge Process.